So it is the process. It's the process. So another example, if you take what is going to, what is the multi-threading example is a video game, which has a process to run multiple tasks parallelly, like graphic, user interaction, networking, like networking in terms like while playing with multiple player games. Okay. So so it has a response. To, it has to be respond to all the time. And it uh, its common goal is to accomplish this. It uh, like to accomplish that game. Yeah. Inside this, it is using the concept of multi-threading where each thread will be responsible. Not like where each thread will be responsible for running each independent and individual task. So now each thread will be running for uh, graphic one thread, user interactions one thread, networking one thread. So now, like this, we have n number of multiple positions. Okay. And so a thread has a flow of execution. What is that? Thread has a flow of execution. So thread has a flow of execution. So that's that is it. That is it. You know, if I say a thread has a flow of execution, okay, which means the process will have process will have flow of execution means flow of execution means it has multiple things. Happening at one time, okay. So it has the uh, multiple things at uh, one time. So now it is very important to know each process, each process, okay, each process consists of a main thread, okay, and some global variables and some different threads also. So we can have, we will have. A process which will have a main thread and sub threads also. Sub threads also. Now we will see one small diagram where it represents a process inside a process. What and all we will have. Let us consider this is a process. Inside the process, I have a main thread. So this is our main main thread. And inside that thread, like we have sub threads. Okay. So inside this, what we have is a main thread. So here we say this as main thread. So this is a P2, shared thread. This is P1. Like that, PN. I can have N thread. This will be so now if you see we have multiple threads so now we have a multiple threads where in the in the in this diagram what is saying it has a global variable okay and a multiple threads each thread has this again local variables like in, in order to run a graphic card in order to run a game so like that each thread has a main process and the sub processes also. Okay. So our ultimate aim is to uh, do some like, achieve some like, common goal that is to run a video game. So all threads will have access to the global variables. Like the global variables are here. So now let us consider global variables are here. Okay. Global variables are here. So all threads will have access to this uh, global variables. All threads will have access to the global variables. So there are two types of uh, there are two types of different threads. Okay? One is kernel thread. What is that? Kernel thread. What is that? Kernel thread. Another one is user thread. Okay? 
there are two types of threat and another one is fairness. Now let us look at what are the advantages of having a thread threading in your program. If I do a multi-threading in my program, what is the advantage? What is the main advantage I have? Advantage is the thread. Thread in programming. What is that advantage? So number one. So what 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 do you feel a main advantage? So as you said, as Mano said, it is a time. So another person, uh, like uh, any example, any any advantages you see, only the time you see, only the time. No, so apart from that, so now if you observe, so it executes the speed of execution of a program. Okay. Well, we can schedule the task, right, sir? Huh. For particular time. Correct. 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 So uh, apart from that, apart from that. So the main advantage is here, speed of the execution, speed of the execution of a program. So when you have multiple CPUs, so let us consider a same program running with 4 GB will be very slow. If you change the RAM, it runs at a faster rate. So how, does, how does this possible? Again, there is a process running on which will take the CPU's help, which takes the multiple CPU's help and it will run. So if your RAM is slow, the system will be slow. If the RAM is minimum, the system will be slow. If you run some process, some big process, what will happen? If you run for today, you should have run it, it will run by tomorrow because the, the it is sharing the work. Okay. Now when you add multiple things, it shares the work. So it gives more threads. So threading threads within the same process can share the memory and use the resources of main thread. So if there is some main thread, the system is uh, started. It is using RAM, okay. And if the system is started and it is not what is being used, if if you start a process inside a system, so it can use the my main thread processes also to complete the child process. If the main thread process is idle, okay. So that was the diagram I'm speaking about. That's what the diagram uh, uh, what I was speaking about. So if the main process has started and it is idle now, your child process is started. And it wants more resources. It will buy in from the main process. It will buy in from the main process. So now that that is the main one advantage. And also, if you perform other tasks like I/O operations, okay, like I/O operations. Let us, for example, the speed at which the frames of uh, from the camera are read. Okay, okay. So let us consider you have a Sony Digicam. Which was long back. It was a handy, like uh, Sony DC cam was there, like only 5 uh, 5 was there, that was there. Okay. So if you remember, it was coming for 10,000. So the frames cam, the la don't go for that. Go for a mobile. Go for a mobile. Uh, compare with iPhone and a normal uh, mobile. Normal camera. 10,000, at a 10,000 range you compare. So now what happens? The algorithm will not have to wait for the frame to be inputted. Now what happens, the frame reading part will not have to wait either the algorithm execution to complete or to read the next frame. So now it is like inferred by an algorithm by different threads. Now what happens, so where, whereas in iPhone, the image capturing is very fast. So it capture and you can capture in 10, 10 image captures. Now the, the same thing it has been implemented in other, another mobile also. Previously it was not there. But this feature was there in iPhone from very long. From very long it was there. How? The process was very more. Why the price is high, iPhone price? Like because they, they, they provide the best uh, processors. So in order to put a more processing uh, power there, you have to put in more money. So that's where you are pouring the money. So now if you go and see any other mobile also, you go for 8GB RAM or 16GB RAM. You, you go for a higher mobile, uh, what do you say? Uh, a RAM, you pay higher price, right? So why that? Because you have to give the capability, whatever the uh, it is there. So you have, let us say, you have a camera of uh, 80 GB, you have a 128 megapixel cam, and you have 4 GB RAM. What will happen? The capture will be very slow. The capture will be very slow, very slow. 
Whereas uh, when you go for a higher capital, it can be capital. The capital will be very fast. Capital will be very fast. Now you take an idea for example, in recording for him, for him, can you give a small mobile? No. He will take a big, big, large camera, right? So why the processing power is very high? So it, he will capture more, more pictures. So that is the one. So now that is one at one. No. What are the challenges I have if I use it? Okay. Okay. That is also interesting. So still now we are seeing advantages only. What are the challenges? Challenges is what we need. What do you feel a challenge here? What do you feel a challenge here? Can anyone tell me? You are speaking about uh, multiple process, multiple threads, advantages, fast. Okay. So now what do you uh, feel a challenge is there? As a set of activity. Tell me read. You can do limited set of activities once we reach the peak. After that, it starts slowing down. Ah, so threading may not speed up all the tasks. When you are performing one task, other tasks should be in a waiting state. Okay. It depends on the. Huh. Sir, if you will use the if you will use multiple threads. Huh. On single object, then it can create problem. Huh, that's what. So uh, what I say, uh, there is some like as this Python works based on uh, implementation is based on C Python. C Python. Yes. So again, as mm -hmm. I said, you C Python for based on a C language with uh, all like related activities and so it limits only one thread to run at a time. Okay. Again, especially in Python, I'm talking about. Okay, not talking in other languages. Okay. So, so no there one. is no concept of synchronization in Python, sir. One second. No, don't come to a conclusion. Okay, don't come to a conclusion by hearing one. Okay. Second. You hear entire okay. class, then you come to a conclusion. Okay. okay. Don't make any conclusions from my immediate statement. Let me complete. Okay. Sir. So now my point is. At this moment, what I am telling is, what may be the disadvantage, like challenges, not disadvantage, this may be a challenge. How you can overcome a challenge? I didn't say disadvantage, right? I said you, challenge, okay? This is a challenge. How can I overcome a challenge? I'll tell you. Okay, that is the, what is the challenge first? So at this moment, only one thread can be run at a time, okay? Hence, threading may not speed up all the tasks, okay? And the essential reason behind this is, and the essential reason behind this is global global interpreter law. Inter inter global interpreter law. So now what is this global interpreter law? What is this global interpreter law? I'll tell you later. Okay, I'll tell you later. So first of all, we we'll see the challenge. So now, what happened? Now, you, at this moment, only one thread at a time. So if you are looking, looking for a speed up of a CPU, Intel is the, uh, like there is another term. This is another term that I am talking about. So let us uh, consider I am looking for a speed in motor. CPU Intel, Intel is the. So then, threading may not be the best solution. Threading is not a best solution. In such case, Multi processing should be considered. Okay. Multi processing should be considered. This is the one number. Another challenge. So, if I want to execute uh, a program consisting of multiple threads, it needs to switch quickly across the threads. Okay. Like from here to there, here to there to here. Like uh, if, if you play, what do you say? Multiple uh, video games. Let us say. So hence scheduling needs to be taken care of you know, in the program. Let's like come here to where you go, there to here you go. So such cases where you have lot of things. So now uh, you, you, you need to maintain lot of things. They are also quite challenging this way. Okay. And resource sharing. Resource sharing is also a problem since all threads save resource from the main memory. As I told you, all threads save. So now let us consider I have started all three sets. Okay, what happened? If all three started sharing, what will happen? 
melt process will give them equally. So what happens? All three will not run in a same manner. It will not run in a faster manner. So if we consider only one thread in running, it will run fast. If I consider I have ten threads in a process, so what happens? In the operation performed in one thread could cause a memory error also. Could cause a memory error. Another. Okay. Our thread may not perform. Uh, uh, our thread may not get the memory to perform the task. So in that case, slow again. Now coming to the threading in Python, what we will do? So how we will overcome I'll tell you. Okay. I'll tell you. So now where actually the threading module is present? Okay. Coming to the Python. So still now we are creating theoretically Python program and again we are going to read that. What is the module we are using to import is the threading? Threading known as threading can be imported directly imported. Okay. Now threading is an also an object in Python because we can Python with you. So what is have okay, what is the, what is it capable of? What is it capable of? Uh, the thread in Python. What it can do? It can hold the data. Okay. It stores data structures. So the data structures. We read the data structures. What are those? Dictionary, list, set, etc. It stores the data structures and can be passed as a parameter to function. Thread can be a passed as a parameter to functions. So we can pass a thread as a parameter to function. We see that also. Okay. And a thread can have various states. Various states. What are the states of a thread here? One is weight and another one is lock. 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 This is not an web series. Lock. Okay. A thread can also be executed as a process. Now let's learn the thread module. So Python three, okay, is uh, before the Python three, Python two point seven itself we had a thread module. Okay, so Python uh, uh, two point seven itself we had a thread module. Now in Python three, how we are importing a thread module? Now, how we will import is import icon thread. Icon thread. So it is a thread module import. Okay. Thread module. So now what we say, we will uh, define one function. Thread delay. This will take continuous thread name, comma, and how much time is the delay? How much time is the delay? So, directly the function. Now we will say count zero. What I will do? Count here we say. What I will say is. First, I need to import time marker. Okay, time dot c of five seconds this time. Last time we said no, not five seconds. We say get delay. We take it from delay. And we say, are it? We say count is equal to. And 
and I want to print the thread width. Thread width, comma. So, uh, it has this. So, by, by the time of 2, T1, 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 T1
to visualize it is a past specification but from the in from the output if you see you can see he, he will start execution first he will set he to start there's a three second delay as soon as delay is finished he to starts and delay for t1 is just one second now this is the way it will start okay now implementing the thread using threading module now till now we have done underscore thread so we are uh, underscore thread we are using now we are using threading module okay we will use another module so this was the old model now we will use new model a threading and uh, for that we need time also the same thing what we will do we will copy the same old model okay. we have a thread today letting money so we have a parameter in this now we want to start a thread how we will start a thread here sorry thread Thread. This is a class. This is a class which will take. This represents a class of thread control. Okay, which will have a parameter. Again, one is the name of the thread. Again, so what we have? We will have a different attributes. We have a different attributes from two points. So now you will see here. What will have? I will have a name. We have arguments. This arguments may be a keyword arguments or a function arguments. And uh, whether it is a demo on thread or not, right? And what is the group of threads? This is I can make a group of threads. It belongs to group of threads. Are we are targeting anything? What is the target? That I will choose. So this many things there. So whereas argument uh, is the one you know, uh, we should take a sub component. Just multiple arguments we need to specify. So there is target is a callable object okay, invoked by run method. So the callable object invoked by a run method. Okay. So uh, if we say target is equal to default, then nothing is called. If you go like I will show you an example of the target. So now let us consider how we will start the so now we have p one is equal to thread. Okay. So which is the target? What is the target? What is the target now? What is your target now? It is a function. It is a function. So put there thread delay. Okay. Thread delay of arguments. What are the arguments? What are the arguments? Is that thread name? Thread name? Thread name? Okay. Come on. Delay. Delay will. Delay will. Okay. So we we'll copy one more thread. We we'll create one more thread. Let's create one more thread. So this is nothing but P2. We take instead the P2 of three seconds. Okay. Now, in order to do this, we need to from a new method. We need to start start with a new method of setting yeah, model. Okay, so, to make sure that your thread model runs, you need to do a start. What is the start? Start is a method. It's a thread activity. It must be called most once per a thread object. Okay, it arranges it arranges object. A run method will be invoked. Okay, run method will be invoked. So whenever you call the second method, you run method. Okay. We done. We we'll complete this part here. Okay. So now my point is here yeah, we need to observe. So t dot start, t one dot start will start the thread. We start the thread. Now the problem. Give an error. 
Wait, we see the wait until all thread execution completes. So whatever the code you have written after join method will be only executed once. This thread shall once this thread have terminated. Okay, once this thread have terminated. You know, uh, it will take a timeout parameter also. Join will take a timeout parameter also. Join will take a timeout parameter also. We will see further in further examples. We will see more how to. Do. We will see one more example now. We are running in one example. We will see one more example. Now, the example is we will take another example. We will calculate a volume of Q. Volume of Q, we should take a parameter. What is the volume of the Q? A into A into A. Alright? So, print volume of the Q. So, I Now, uh, we will call volume of the square. This is Oh, no, 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 no,
What is it like? Two parameters. What is that? Target you need to define. After two parameters, a, a number of parameters. Now we need to define a target. What is that target? What is the target? Volume cube or volume square. Volume cube and hey, boy, yeah. Volume cube. Okay. Volume cube. So how will you pass arguments? Arts. Arts is equal to equal to you need to pass in a tuple so it is one argument also you need to pass in a tuple that is the first two target Target spelling. Yeah. Oh, so how we will start? Sir. Huh. Then what is your other target to a wrong way? What? I'm the chain body, sir, and the spelling mistake. I got a cagada. You know, R. I got a TR. You saw it. Melon. So uh, what it is saying? It is giving you another. Why? It is expecting a tuple. Okay, it is expecting a tuple. So when you will become a tuple, when you will become a tuple, when you say, ah, so that's why Python is very very basics are very very important. So, oh, very good. So when it is a Ah, now you see. Okay. Ah, right. So now, if you observe here, is you know, we started with we we started with the uh, sign and we completed we completed with the threading module. But still, we have lot to see in the threading module. We will continue with uh, in a tomorrow class. So if we have any doubts today, we will review what is in we have one minute now. So if you have any doubts today, you can you can uh, uh, ping me back. So let's do, we started with the time module. Uh, we saw some examples and this is going today. So that's why I'm telling. So now if you see here the time if you give a time of four, it will give you a time of because time when we started it. When we started actually calculating a time as a human. As a human, when we started by any system and we started. So, if you take any other system, so by default time will be nonsense. If you go to a database also, you give default time, okay, default time. Now, what will happen if you take 1970 as a default one? Why? Right? Because the system time is 1970. If you start from 1970. So, what else we saw? We saw uh, uh, how to extract the uh, days, month, and uh, IST each day, time, and the time. 